Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch another Truck Time Truck Talk with Travis. Something like that. Do you ever think that maybe, maybe we need World War III? Maybe we need a big, bad, evil, deadly war. Now, I know that the first thing that's going to pop into some of your heads is that what do you mean? You really want people to die? Do you realize the amount of destruction and death and maiming is going to have? And then all the secondary problems of, of economic things, people losing their homes and their jobs and their fortunes and their retirement. And Do you really want all that stuff to happen? No, I don't. No, I don't. But our society, our world, our human existence is set up in such a way that um, sometimes there needs to be a cleansing, a purge. It's, it's awful. It's, I think it's just the, the nature of sinful man that we just have to go through these cycles every once in a while. It's kind of like the thing, you know, strong men create good times, good times create weak men. Weak men create hard times, hard times create strong men. We are right into that weak men, hard times part of the equation. I think that most of you would agree with that. And it's quite possible that the only way to, in some ways, fix the problem is to have really, really hard times. And a global war and a global collapse could definitely lead to that hard times. Uh, the, the, the only problem is, is that what strong men will stand up? Because just because a man is strong doesn't necessarily mean that he's good. Nature abhors a vacuum. And in the vacuum of good strong men, evil strong men will rise up. And I think that's what we're seeing. We're seeing the, the repercussions of a few generations of just weakness, pathetic weakness. We see it all in our government, all in politics. I've had so many people in the last week or so send me links and stuff about what's going on in Congress. I, I, I don't intend to offend anyone, but I couldn't care less about what they're doing in Congress. I couldn't care. I, I don't care. I don't care who they elect as speaker. I don't care how many rounds it goes. I don't care if this one guy is really good. No, they're not. They're all politicians. They're just, they're parasites in our system. They do nothing. Even the good ones, they do nothing because there aren't any good ones. So I don't care about that kind of stuff. And it all it is, it's just a, another prime example of how bad our society is. I saw a video today. I considered debating sharing it. I'm just going to share it, and it's going to be no audio. Because the guy, he cusses and stuff, drops, drops some F-bombs, and, and I don't like that on my channel. So you're not going to get to hear it, but I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you the rundown on it, the paraphrased version. Uh, basically, he's a, a young person, and he's um, he's gay or bisexual or trans. I don't even know. He's, but he's you can tell, and he's, he alludes to that. Um, and he's saying that there's not going to be a draft because his generation just isn't going to fight. His generation isn't going to go to war. They've got too many other things to do. They've got twerking and Twitter and, and, and all this other stupid stuff that they're doing, making videos. That's way more important than going to war. And that going to war is just silly. That guns are just silly and that they're unfashionable. He makes some ridiculous argument of how they're just, you know, they're just silly to have. And, and that they're not going to go to war. Um, it, it's, it just solidifies the fact that we are surrounded by weak men during hard times. And I'm not saying that we should enjoy going to war. Uh, most of the wars, well, if not all of the wars that we fought in the last, oh goodness, several decades have probably not really been truly justified. They've just been to make bankers wealthier and, and increase the power of the elites. I get that. But this may be the first time in 
American history, if not human history, that um, there is not this patriotic drive in young men to go to war. I mean, there's certainly some good young men out there. There's certainly good, strong men out there. But the concentration of them, I think, has dropped. Now, I'm not an expert in this. I don't even know if this thing that I'm getting ready to describe to you even exists. But I suspect if there were some expert out there, they could come up with some number. Because I believe that there must be a certain concentration of good, strong men in a society for that society to be strong in itself. And that somewhere along the way, when that concentration drops to a certain level, below a certain threshold, and then now the, the, the level and concentration of weak men rise up, then it must just mean that that's where the, 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 the society starts crumbling. Because there's always been weak men. There's always been homosexuals. There's always been pedophiles. There's always been criminals. There's always been evilness. There always has been. And there still are today really good, strong men. It's just not the concentration that we must need to keep our society afloat. And so we're watching it crumble. And it's going to happen. Is it going to happen next week, next month, next year, next decade? I don't know. But it is going to happen. It, it has to. Everything points that direction. There's hardly an expert out there that will deny the fact that our society is on a downward fall. And maybe that's what we need. Maybe we need that to kind of purge our system. And I'm not saying purge it necessarily through death, because unfortunately wars tend to kill off the, the best of our society. That's usually what we do, is send our best off to wars. But if we go through really, really hard times, maybe the worst times this country's ever been through, it's quite possible that some young people will wake up and realize their testicular fortitude that's in them and to become a good man, or maybe they just won't survive. But as, as hard as it sounds to hear it and to say it, I think we probably could use a little purging in our society. It's probably not a very popular topic to say, especially around the water cooler. And I'm sure the censors at YouTube really hate it that I'm saying this, and they'll probably restrict this video because they do here lately with a lot of stuff. They either restrict it in views or restrict it in being monetized. Which is why you should go sign up to my Locals membership. I just posted um, our new newsletter, and it's on there. You can go watch the, go read the new newsletter. I make videos over there every day. If you want to follow me and really support what we're doing, and also be there uh, when I get kicked off of YouTube. There will be a link down in the comments below. It's only $3 a month, folks. I know that's tight for some of you, but it's just $3. And you see stuff that my wife posts and, and other things. But I'm telling you, we need more warriors. Um, two other YouTube channels recently have talked about this, that if you don't know who they are, you should probably find them out. Uh, Zach Bauer with An American Homestead. And uh, just his name just slipped my mind, but 3 of 7 Project. Uh, he's a former Navy SEAL, and for some reason his name just escapes me right now. Both of them make excellent, excellent content, and they both have been talking about the need for warriors and the lack thereof in our society. So when we're seeing all of this stuff happen, and it's building, it's building, it's been building all day today. I mean, I could have easily made a video that many others are probably making uh, for this afternoon of the sensational things that are going on that's pushing us closer. You know, how many actual missiles that um, that destroyer ship of ours had to take down from Yemen. That's a pretty big deal. Something like... 20 or 30 drones and several uh, cruise missiles that were shot at Israel from Yemen that our, our destroyer took out. Um, just about everyone is telling their people to get out of Lebanon. Even fellow friendly Muslim nations are saying, get out of Lebanon now. Which kind of indicates to me that something really big is getting ready to happen in Lebanon and not just a few rockets and shells being passed back and forth between them and Israel. So probably going to start getting bad there too and they have a pretty decent hezbollah has pretty decent forces 
you know, about 50,000 and quite a bit of, of armaments, much more than Hamas, so a little bit more of a force to take on. United States is involved in so many things and poking the bear and the dragon and everything else. Uh, I think North Korea is going to become more and more of a big problem. That's my opinion, and I've had that for a long time, and I could be proven wrong, but I don't know. The economy is just, it's getting worse and worse every time you look at it. Numbers, parameters, everything. You know it's getting bad when all the establishment people like Janet Yellen and certain prognosticators on mainstream news keep trying to convince you that it's really strong when everybody knows it's getting really bad. Just go into the store and seeing what's in your bank account. All of these problems could be taken care of if we had a little bit of a purging going on. Um, if we went through rock bottom hard times, um, historically speaking, the strong men would rise up. I don't know if there's enough time left for that to happen. I guess that's the big question. But either way, I think it's going to happen. And you folks need to be on the strong man side. Maybe you're a girl. That doesn't mean you can't be included in that. Because it also takes very strong women to support a strong man. I think that's where we're headed, folks. That's why I've been on here for years now. Warning people. Telling people to wake up. I had a, someone contact me said that we, they started watching my channel several years ago. Before even the pandemic. And they said, you were saying then that things were going to start getting tougher and that you needed to start prepping. And he said, we started doing that because we watched your channel. And now we're so thankful because it is. It's getting hard. It's getting hard and it's going to get harder. That I don't really see an end in sight, at least until we hit rock bottom. I mean... I think we're going to hit it one way or the other, this whole Great Reset plan. They're not talking about a reset where you just kind of change things around. I've said this before. A reset to them is basically bulldozing the building and starting fresh. You know, hitting that Control-Alt-Delete and Delete star dot star. And I'm showing my age here. And then starting all over. That's, that's kind of the reset they're talking about. And that kind of reset's going to have a lot of collateral damage. A lot. And we need to get ready for it. Because whether it's good or bad, whether it's meant to happen or not, it's going to happen. And I think the Bible indicates that through a lot of the prophecies in there. And just, well, we can see the handwriting on the wall. So folks, we have to be ready for this. There are strong men and women watching this channel right now. And it's time to wake up. You lions out there, you need to wake up. You need to wake up and get your families ready. Start talking about this every once in a while. Having little discussions around the dinner table of what it's going to be like and what you need to do. How you need to think. How you need to accept the reality of the situation. Be talking with your little tribes, your little mag groups, your little communities. Because it's going to happen. And, and only by banding together and supporting each other are you really going to be able to get through this. Especially get through this with, you know, any kind of sanity, I guess, at this point. We need strong people to rise up. And unfortunately, the only way that happens historically is by really, really bad times. And we are on the precipice, I think, of those really hard times. So you need to be getting ready um, because it's very likely that we're going to start seeing a big purge. And I mean, when I say purge, it could be death. It could be just people, I don't know, going and willingly living in their little FEMA camp pods or whatever it is. Regardless, get ready, stocked up, prepped up, and prayed up. Get your houses in order, folks, mentally, physically, and spiritually. You know the drill. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.